welcome back. September 18th, National Cheeseburger Day. I told you we were doing cheeseburger today. So I was trying to come up with something kind of interesting and cool to do. I told you I was going to try and research. So whatever I'm doing, planning for the next day or whatever I'm going to do in the next couple days or something for the show, uh, one of the things I do, especially because it's a Sunday, uh, is I'll go through my fridge because a lot of times we have leftover stuff that we don't use, you know, vegetables and onions and this and that, that I don't want to go to waste. So, in my searching of my fridge to get everything out of there, to get the new stuff in for the week, <laughs> I found some stuff that I had. So, we're not making your traditional cheeseburger cheeseburger today, we're making a cheeseburger pizza today. <laughs> I had pizza dough that I forgot that I had from when we did a pizza last, I had an extra thing of dough. I had chopped meat, I had onions, I, had all, I said, you know what, let's just make a pizza today. I got tomatoes and lettuce and stuff I got to use up and get rid of. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make a nice cheeseburger pizza with some caramelized onions, which is what I'm doing now. I'm heating up some olive oil in a pan here. I have my onions already all sliced. So what we're going to do is just get those in there and let those start frying up. Now the thing I've read about caramelized onions is low and slow. So we got a hot pan with oil here right now and we're just going to kind of let these sit here for a bit. We're going to cover them just to let some of that moisture, the steam in there, start to kind of cook these down a little bit. And then after a couple minutes, once we see that they're starting that process, we'll turn the heat down and we'll just let these simmer and just kind of sit there for a little while. We'll add our salt when we do that too. That'll help bring out some of the moisture as well. Alrighty, we want these nice and brown and caramelized. We're going to put these on top of our pizza. We're going to do a cheese base because I saw that I had some like cheese dip <laughs> and I said, hey, that might make a really good sauce instead of sauce. It is cheeseburger pizza day and I, I don't know, I pizza sauce, red sauce on a cheeseburger pizza, I don't know. I don't think that's going to kind of do with what I have in mind. So we're going to do a cheese sauce base. Then we're going to add our ground up. We're going to brown up our chopped meat. We'll put that on top of the cheese sauce. Then we'll maybe put a couple slices of American cheese on that <laughs> just to make it a little cheesier. We'll put it all on our pizza crust. Then we'll lay our caramelized onions on that. Bake that, and then when it comes out, we'll do some other toppings on top, okay? We'll do lettuce and tomato and stuff so it's like an actual cheeseburger. Um, it's going to be a fun day. Let's just do this one and see. Something different, as always. We try to mix it up. Alrighty? So, I already told you what you need. Start sautéing your onions and getting those caramelized. And get your meat in your pan here and start browning that. Be back in a few. Okay, so we got our meat nice and brown here. We drained off some of the fat. Now, what I'm going to do, just to make it a little more interesting, because I have a different idea for what I want to do with the lettuce part of our topping, because I want our lettuce and tomato to be cold on a hot pizza. I like that combination uh, of the two things. So what I'm going to do, just to jazz up our meat a little bit and give us that cheeseburger flavor, I'm going to squirt some ketchup into there and some mustard. Okay, just a little bit of mustard. And that will give this that cheeseburger kind of flavor cooked into our meat, okay? So that way we don't have to worry about putting it on later. Now, by all means, if you are a ketchup person and you love dunking your burger in a ketchup, I have a friend who puts more ketchup than there is burger. I don't understand it. Uh, but anyway, if you like that, then by all means, you can squirt some ketchup on your pizza later. Alrighty, but this is gonna incorporate this nice ketchup mustard flavor. It already smells like, <laughs> like a fast food burger thing, alrighty? So I'll let this cook up. Our onions are caramelizing. Be back in a bit. Alrighty, it's time to start assembling this thing. Now, this was that same dough that I used last time. The only difference was with the other one, it was a round crust and it was bistro style, so it was nice and thin. This is the, which one is this? The classic crust, family style. It's a nice long rectangle. The thing I love about this dough is it comes on this parchment paper, so you just unroll it and it's already on the parchment. No messing around with rolling dough and trying to stretch it out. It's all ready to go. You just roll it out. And it's really tasty dough, too. So I laid it out on our cookie sheet here. I put a layer of 
sliced American cheese. I thought I had some queso sauce or cheese sauce, you know, one of those dip things left over, um, but I didn't. So I said, okay, let's rework it. So we're just going to put a layer of cheese on the bottom, and now we're going to spoon our hot uh, meat on the top of that. Actually, it cooled a little bit, but we're going to put that on the top. That'll start the melting process. So that'll be our cheese for our cheeseburger pizza. Okay, so I took our flavored ground beef and just put it in the center of my pizza crust here because you want to make sure you kind of spread this out as evenly as possible. Now make sure when you're laying out your cheese and everything that you leave a nice border because you got to have a crust on your pizza. Okay, so we don't want to go all the way to the edge, but we want to get as close to it as possible. And then just carefully spread your beef portion. Try to keep it on the cheese, so that'll leave the border you made <laughs> with the crust, okay? Oh, this smells great already. I mean, adding that ketchup and mustard to our beef, really, you can smell, it smells like, uh, like a cheeseburger. I mean, it's just amazing. Um, okay, so we press this down, and then once we have that all in there, as you can see, it's a nice thick layer of beef, which is going to be great. Okay, hopefully we'll be able to pick up this pizza. It's probably going to weigh so much that when you pick up a slice, it's going to flop all over the place. <laughs> then we're going to take our caramelized onions and just kind of spread those out as best you can. You're probably going to have to dump them on here and then use your hands to kind of spread them out, okay? Because I don't think you're going to be able to do it with a spoon. Alrighty? So that's what you do. We're just going to spread these out a little bit and then we're going to get this into our oven and be ready to go. I think there's enough cheese on the bottom. I mean, there's never enough cheese, I know, but I think there's enough cheese spread along the bottom. I don't want to overdo it that this thing turns into this big puddle of cheesy mess. Not that we wouldn't eat it anyway, because we would. <laughs> we eat all the mistakes, even if the mistakes don't turn out the way we you know, if it doesn't turn out the way we want to and it is a mistake, we still eat it anyway. Even if it's in pieces, we'll pick, we'll throw it in a bowl and eat it anyway. Alrighty, pizza in a cup. Remember pizza in a cup? <laughs> Alright, so this is going to go in the oven for however long the package tells me that it needs to be in there. When this one comes out, we'll be ready to top it. I'm, I don't know, I, I'm on the fence about adding more cheese to this thing. Hmm, maybe one more slice on the top. Alright, see you in a bit. Pizza looks just about done. Look at that. That's a nice pizza, huh? Nice cheeseburger pizza. The crust, uh, I don't know, maybe we need a few. No, crust looks good. We don't want it too well done because then it's crunchy. We still want it a little chewy. Alrighty. So there's our pizza. We're going to make our topping now. Uh, I took these little tomatoes and I sliced them up. So we have that. Now I have a bowl of shredded lettuce here. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I used to work in a pizza place and they had this bacon lettuce tomato pizza that was outrageous. So it was no sauce on it, it was cheese and bacon and stuff on the bottom. Um, and then they would, you know, you'd have the hot pizza and then they would top it with shredded lettuce and tomato. That's where I kind of got the idea for this. But what they would do is take a little mayonnaise and mix it into the lettuce, just to kind of coat the lettuce. So you had that little bit of mayo flavor, like on a BLT, you have to have mayonnaise on a BLT. Same type of thing here. We're just incorporating a little bit of that mayo flavor into our burger instead, you know, our cheeseburger, rather than spreading mayonnaise on the top of this, which you, again, if you're a ketchup fan, dump the ketchup. If you're a mayo fan, spread it with some mayo. This is just our cake on this pizza today, so you do what you like for your pizza, okay? So we're just coating our lettuce with some mayonnaise, not a lot, just a little bit to kind of make it wet and give us that flavor. Now what we're going to do is take our hot pizza and we're going to take our lettuce. Uh, yeah, we're going to take our tomatoes first because I think those will sit better if we put the lettuce on the top. So we're just going to take our tomatoes and just kind of spread them along the top here. Make a layer of tomato, okay? Okay, and then you just spread the lettuce on the top of that, okay? There you go. 
cheeseburger pizza. Man, this thing smells great. It's gonna, I can't wait to taste this. So I'm gonna get my pizza cutter out. I'm gonna cut myself a piece. Be right back for the tasting. This one looks like a super winner today, alrighty? Alrighty, let's cut ourselves a nice piece of pizza here. Trying to go around the tomatoes because they're moving all over the place. But that's alright. Cut ourselves a nice square piece here. Alright. I'm going to have to eat this with a knife and a fork. I don't know. We'll see what we got. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Let's try and give you a couple angles there. Got a nice end piece there with a nice piece of crust still. See? And there's our meat and our cheese and our lettuce tomato. Okay. Let's give this one a try today. It's going to be a messy eat. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> wow. The flavor on this is just... Between the caramelized onions flavor that you're getting, the flavor of the meat with the ketchup and the mustard is killer. I'm going to have to do that from now on. Oh my god. This thing... You must make this. <laughs> I know, there's times. Sometimes I'd say, eh, go buy it, it's cheaper. And then there's times when I tell you, you must make this. Well, you must make this. Because <laughs> you are just going to eat this entire pizza and go, oh my god, I can't believe I've never thought of this before. It is just sheer pizza, cheeseburger, perfection. <laughs> if there was ever two things that went really well together, it's these two. Alrighty, I'm going to go eat my pizza because, man, I want to sit down and enjoy this thing. I'm going to be sick after this because I'm going to eat so much of it. But we'll see you tomorrow, everybody. I think we're making pudding again. I don't know. Desserts. It's hot. It's cold. It's hot. It's cold. It's all right. We may do with whatever we got. We'll try to come up with something fun. Alrighty, see you then.